Yes, in person. We can tweet to each other now just to make it more count, you know. All right, so you have the Brisbane Universal and Industry Support. You guys are good two months ago introduced to the show. Now you're on the Brass County 5 with the show. Thanks for being here. Legal Choice Award. Shocking. Has it, has, it, has it exceeded your expectations? Yeah, I mean, you know, even my expectations, none of those words were in my expectations. You know, my expectations were just do the best you can and, like, try to stay on the air. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been incredible. I, it's still shocking to me. Um, but it does feel good. <laughs> Was Jane always intended for CW or did you pitch? No, they, um, Ben Silverman brought it, the project to CW and CW liked the idea of it and suggested that they come to me and I sort of heard the log line of a girl who gets accidentally inseminated and I was like, that's crazy, that's not, I can't do that, that's crazy. <laughs> and, uh, but I said I'd think about it over the weekend and I just started to think about it and it started to become a little bit of this fairy tale about fate and destiny and like, you know, I always think about, you know, those one, those crazy things, that one moment that could change your life. I mean, I think about it in scary ways like a car accident or a, you know, you look down if you're texting and suddenly, you know, but this felt like that. It felt like some, if I could come up with a world in which you could believe all the crazy things that got her to the accidental insemination place, suddenly you could have this girl who had her life planned out and now her life has exploded and I thought there'd be a lot of fun that I could have with that and um, so I got excited. Um, the, the Emmys threw us a curveball, yeah. as you know. Yeah. How has the process of, of petitioning for that comedy been going? Are you still in the I, baby I wrote steps? them a letter, a very, very, very long letter. I could have, it could have been much, much longer, but I, <laughs> I like, had, to, had to cap it. Um, but, you know, I talked about what I think the show is and how we handle things. And, the, you know, just the way we approach storytelling in terms of building a big comic set piece in each episode and always filtering it through that lens and also, you know, the fantasy, the telenovela, the, the, those bones in it. Um, so we'll see what they decide. And then you, you, we wrote them a letter and submitted the aired episodes. And How many episodes did you have to submit them? I submitted 15. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a, uh, who knows? Because it's, uh, it's brand new for all of us, so. Sure. Yeah. And then, um, you, you know, not in the first 15, but you've gotten Rita Moreno's coming on the show. I mean, Nia Cordellis has the, the reception from, not just from the audience, but from the, like, the, the actors outside that are fans of the show just been... I think so. I mean, I, uh, we, a lot of, um, not Rita, Rita, you know, I, I was like, can, will she, please, please, please. But a bunch of um, actors write to our casting directors and tell them they're fans of the show and, uh, you know, are we interested in having them? And so that's a nice feeling. And our cast is also incredibly warm, um, you know, when you get... So I've heard just a lot of people telling the casting director what it's been such a nice place to be because of our cast. I mean, they're just... So I think that, like, the more people have fun doing these guest spots, the more also we get. And, you know, we, yeah, it's been fun. A lot of musical acts, a lot of, you know, we have Paulina Rubio. That was my dream. Yeah. I shot the pilot. I was like, because I was like, Zoe's going to just be love Paulina Rubio. And I said, like, at some point, I would just love it if she would come on and be like, Zoe meeting her idol. That's her god. And she was in episode nine. Like, I couldn't believe it. So. And tell us a little more about, about the cast in general. Like, like how, how fun it is on set. I would say that, you know, just, I mean, you do have the I don't see people that, you know, a lot of people that it's nobody knew before, not, now everybody knows who they are. And, living in my and they're also, they're just unchanged by the fact that everyone knows who they are, which is amazing. I mean, you know, it's always, everyone talks about, you know, he does try down and, and to like um, you know, Jaime is a huge, huge star, so, and he comes in with such so humility and just, like, sweetness. No, so Brown that's, a good, he's a great, you know, he's a good guy, he really is, but it's just, it's hard to, it's like asking her ex-boyfriend to their family. They have people that go, like, you know, Monday morning, she's there, she's on time, she knows her line, she's ready to go. I mean, that's, and she's just like, I just got to get back to work, that's what got me here. So, I mean, that's just, you know, a gift. And you can't control that, you can't cast that. It's just a luck of, you know, an alchemy and a certain thing. But they're, they're all really close uh, to one another. You know, I'm, I don't spend as much time on set because I'm just always in the cutting room and I'm writing a lot. But um, we move fast. We do like 10, 11 things a day. We do, yeah, because, you know, our shows are, you know, there's, I'm back in a lot. <laughs> so, you know, our scripts are, I would say, scripts are maybe 59 pages, but we do 
I can do 80 scripts, 80 scenes, an episode, instead of, say, a show up, another hour-long show I was on that does 35, 80 different scenes, 80 setups. Um, so our crew is fast and our actors work, you know, they're there to work and, and they kind of have to be right on it because we have so much to get through and we shoot seven days instead of eight. So. Well, you know what's going for you hard at Gold Derby for the Emmys coming up, so... Yeah, uh, I wonder when we find out. Who knows? <laughs> Thank well, you so much. It's so nice to see you and Liz and all of them. Yeah, How do you know Liz?